welcome back to another lip balm review, although in this case technically it's gloss, so I guess I'll lip gloss review. But anyways, today I'm going to be reviewing the Broadway brand Vita Lip Rose Hip Oil Lip Gloss. Um, to be fair, on the other one that I did from this brand, I thought it said Vita, or I mean, I thought it said Ulta, it says Vita. Um, it does look like a U with that font, but it's Vita. So it reduces fine lines on lips, I can always use that. Moisturizes and heals, contains vitamin A, so all good stuff. The ingredients on the back. Polyisobutane, mineral oil, um, just regular polybutane, ethylene, propylene, styrene, copolymer, butylene, ethylene, styrene, copolymer, that's another line, po uh, phen phenoxyethanol, methylparaben, Ethyl paraben, coprolastate, meadow foam seed oil, synthetic jojoba oil, BHT, um, rosa rugosa flower oil, and fragrance. So there's that. Caution, keep out of reach of children. Interesting. <laughs> Given that it goes on your lips, I shouldn't think it'd be too dangerous, but what do I know? But yeah, so format wise, like I said, it's a gloss. Packaging wise, it's very cute. I'm not even a pink fan, but this. This is really cute, I have to admit. I think it's adorable. Um, as we established, it's not natural. It is synthetic, which is okay. Um, it, I don't think it's limited edition. I think you can get it whenever, just at, like, dollar stores. Um, I don't know if it's part of a set. I know there's other glosses by this brand. I just don't know in total how many there are. If there's just the two, if there's other... I would imagine there's probably others. So look around, see what there is. The amount of product is 0.47 fluid ounces, or 14 milliliters, depending on if you're on the metric system or not. Shelf life is 12 months after opening. I just opened it, so we're good. This little bubble suspended in it is fascinating to me, and I don't know why. <laughs> Price point wise, again, you can find them at the dollar store, so they're not very much. Mine was gifted to me by my friend Christine a while back, and I'm just now getting around to reviewing it finally, but yeah, so. Sturdiness-wise, it's your standard tube of lip gloss. It's just that, like, flexible, bendy plastic. The cap feels pretty good. No complaints on the sturdiness. Um, although, I did cheat and open it real quick to give it a sniff before we start, because I took the plastic wrap off so I wouldn't have to do that on camera. I did notice, right on the tip of the applicator, if we can- yeah, you can see a little bit right there. That is jagged plastic. There was a bigger chunk of plastic there that I pulled off with my nail. This is as fine as I could get. This is like a fairly thin piece that's like flexible back and forth, so I don't think I'm gonna like cut myself on it. I, I hope not anyway. Uh, um. The sensitive skin of your lip, I, I mean, you gotta be careful with stuff like that. I'll try and do a little more with that later, but for now, it'll be fine, especially once the gloss is over it. But, yeah, so other than that, no issues. And I think that was just on mine. That's not an issue that they all have, I don't think. But, yeah, so other than, like, the vitamin E, or not vitamin E, vitamin A, I don't think there's any special features. So, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what it smells like. This one smells really, really good. That is, like, authentic rose. That's not a phony rose scent. That's, that's really nice. It reminds me a lot of the Avon perfume Roses Roses, which was, like, my favorite all growing up. Um, it's a little different, but it's super similar. But yeah, like, if you went and smelled a rose, this is that exact scent in my mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on carefully because of that tip. I'm gonna see if I can do it just using this end possibly. Squeeze up a bead. Get in there. Okay. All right. I see it. It's hard when you're trying to avoid the front end of it. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely try and file that down later, but... 
It's very glossy and shiny, which I would imagine from a lip gloss, you know, is kind of its job. Um, ooh, it smells even rosier once it's on. That's awesome. I love this. I love this. I thought I really liked the other one, but this one, I adore this. Oh my gosh. I am digging it. That smells so nice. It's not overpowering or anything. Like I said, it's authentic rose, but, um... It's not, like, overkill or anything like that, so if you just like a little bit of a floral scent, but not, like, anything crazy, you'd probably like this a lot. So, um, yeah, that's just really nice. And there's no, like, weird perfumey taste from it, like, one would worry about, because sometimes with, um, floral scented lip balms and stuff, they have, like, a real funky taste to them. This does not. And that I am thrilled about, because usually that's the downside of floral ones, is that they they kind of taste how they smell, and they taste like a flower, and that's not the greatest taste, but when it just smells like it, and there's no taste from it, that's really nice. So, I like it. As for the consistency, I didn't put that much on, I was just going slow to avoid the front tip of it, but um, I would say it's thick, but not in an off-putting way. It is a little sticky, fair warning, but most glosses are, if we're being honest. Um, but it's very, very smooth. I kind of compare it to um, the Lip Smacker liquid lip glosses. Well, I mean, obviously they're liquid, but um, if they're a gloss, they have to be a liquid. But uh, actually, I guess they wouldn't have to be. I guess there's the ones you dip your finger into that are technically gloss. All right, fine. So the liquid lip glosses with the wand from Lip Smacker, they remind me a lot of that. Because it's that kind of, like, you could skate across your lips, like, it's so thick and so smooth. But, um, yeah, it feels a lot like those. So if you're a fan of those, you probably love this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the drink test. I unfortunately don't know about longevity, because this is my first use with it, but if the other one's any indicator, it stays pretty well. I'm actually impressed at how well it's staying. Pass the drink test with flying colors. Oh my gosh. Not even a thinned out spot or anything. That's really good. So it's definitely getting the wow factor as well as everything else. So I don't think I had any complaints with it other than that one little rough spot on the applicator, which I feel like it's just this one individual one. Like, if I were to get another one of this exact same product, I can almost guarantee it would not have that problem. So I'm not going to hold that against it, because I had that other one from this brand, too, and it did not have that problem even a little. So, I think... I think... This is getting a 10, guys. It's been a while since I've given out a perfect 10, and I'm really happy that I can give this a 10, because I honestly wasn't sure how this one was going to be, but I think I'm just instantly in love with this. This is so nice. I am really digging it. So hopefully you guys will like it too if you decide to try it. And again, it's really cheap, so I mean, it's not like you're out much if you don't like it, so I think it's a win-win, but for being that cheap, I'm surprised at how much I am just adoring it. <laughs> So anyways, yeah, perfect 10. Anyway guys, that is about it from me for this one. So as usual, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below. Do any of you guys have this one? If so, let me know your thoughts down below, as well as anything else you feel like leaving me. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, they're all listed down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is in the description. So anyway guys, till next time.